Hello everyone, I am Port Scientist 7 and welcome to a new Never Have I Ever Played. So I am playing for the first time Final Fantasy 7. I have never played this game before. It came out in 97, so I had to been like one or two around the, um, that time. And I didn't start playing games until I was like five, six years old. So this game was recommended to me by one of the other members of PCM because I was actually trying to trying to figure out a game that I have never played before and this is actually a much older game so uh, I've only played one other Final Fantasy game and that would um, Final Fantasy 15 so that's actually kind of a bit of a high benchmark when it comes to graphics and game mechanics this older game I, I played the original I know there's a remake out and I heard that's really good but with this one the graphics kind of remind me of like the legend of the other game and some of the text-based dialogue and the action sequences as well when you get into battles kind of reminds me also about like some of the beginning Pokemon games too except that was more of the 8-bit variety <laughs> but I didn't get too far in from what I could tell from the story is that the that you are a mercenary that is an ex-soldier of an organization called soldier you're supposed to be like I guess the best of the best soldiers so you're hired by a resistance group called Avalanche to destroy a power station. Apparently there's eight of these power stations that suck energy from the planet, slowly killing it, but it powers the city in which a lot of people reside. So, you go in at the beginning, you fight some guards, and then you end up, I guess, what, breaking into the facility? I would have to say the initial story is intriguing, but I didn't get that far. Um, I did like how you can actually name your character and other characters that you meet. I went ahead and named my first character like Port 7 because I usually can't think of a good name. And then the next guy, um, you get the name. Uh, one of the other major characters, he insults me at the beginning saying, I don't trust you. I was like, okay, I'm going to call you no time. Like, I have no time for you. And then he ends up being your partner <laughs> at the very beginning for the rest of the, the beginning story. I was like, seriously? course so I was like ah, I have no time for you now I'm spending all the time with you <laughs> but now I would say I did not enjoy after you break in the facility I did not enjoy that like everywhere I was going I was just trying to figure out where to go because I was obviously lost on how the map was and I, I really did not enjoy that like every five seconds I was getting into a battle I was like okay I just want to progress the story I'm I'm patient to an extent, but I wanted to see where the story was going. I didn't get really far because I kept on getting into battle after battle after battle. And it was just like really annoying. And eventually I was like, okay, I figure out where I'm going and I got in, um, to go where I'm going. And then I hit another battle. I'm like, come on. Seriously? It's like, how many of these did they put into this one area? Um, but. For the most part, the gameplay is pretty standard, it flowed well. I did die from a mini boss in the beginning story. After you um, plant the bomb, you end up going into a action sequence where you fight this like, like spider mech robot thing. Don't know what it look. Uh, I don't know what you know how to describe it, <sighs> but it was. I thought it was doing good, <laughs> basically, until its tail came up and then shot lasers at us and took a third of my house. I was like, what? What? What kind of... Um, you get to, like a little mini box at the beginning of the game, and you're playing with two characters, and you don't even really know what to do. I just one-shot, killed, KO'd a whole bunch of the other guys, and now I'm getting um, killed by this guy. I was like, that's annoying. And then I died. Party wipe. Got an achievement for it. Say, woohoo, have your entire party fail. Ooh, 50% of players had it. Other 50% must have never died then. Cool. That's just fun. But, it was pretty good. Um, I, after I died, I was like, okay, I'm gonna heal my people more, a little bit more often. Wait after certain attacks. Into beating them. And then, we ended up getting a timer. And we had to run for it. What was annoying is trying to get onto optics. See, all, the map looks like it's hand drawn. I don't like. <laughs> looks more graphic art than it does digital art. 
me so when you go to an opposite you don't know if you can grab it or not and going up the ladders and stairs was a little weird eventually i got a hanger that i did get stuck a lot i got lost a lot too because i had no idea where i'm going and it was just pretty interesting once you escape the facility though you run then you get cornered by a ton of enemies you keep battling over and over and over until your character jumps off a bridge onto a train and that's basically it and then you just talk to people a lot a lot of dialogue it's a little bit tedious would i continue playing this yes but would it be on the original version no i think i would go for the remake because it has a uh, vocal dialogue and i think i would probably be more enticed to actually keep playing that than the um original version also the graphics are upgraded so it would probably look better to me and i would probably be able to find my way more often so i would probably play the remake over the original now would i recommend this game or even the remake to other people i would say yes i think if you have at least enough patience for a good story driven game this would be it i would not replay it myself because I, I once i play it i'm done with that at least because <laughs> there, there's no other modes to do for this game it's just the story as far as i can tell so I would play the story all the way through and probably be done with it. If I wanted to get an achievement or something for something, I'd probably go get that, but I probably wouldn't for this type of game. Um, other people, though, I would recommend because it's pretty good. Um, I think I've, I think I've covered all, all I need to say about that. I mean, if... I guess if they put out a remake of one of the other older ones, I would probably do that as well. But as far as I can, as far as I can say, it's a great game. There is a lot of good story potential. I didn't read up on it. I think I might read up on it or just play it myself all the way through, probably the remake, to get a gr good grasp of the entire story in its entirety. And I would probably recommend people to try playing it at least once to get a feel for it and see if they like it and that's pretty much it so i guess i have nothing else to say i hope everyone enjoyed this and i will leave about a, probably a little bit a minute left of the video and hope y'all enjoy the remainder of the gameplay it's probably going to be me dying a lot or at least fighting little tedious battles so i'm poor scientist seven and i hope you enjoyed this video and please leave a like down below and don't forget to subscribe. We also have a Discord link down below to our Discord if you want to hang out. And have a great day, everyone. Alright, bye.